Today is Thursday, which is generally between Wednesday and Friday. That's right. Typically. Typically, Typically. between Thursday, Wednesday. And, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's today. Today is the eighth of the month of October, 2015. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. I'm Wayne Alley. Good morning. And I'm Kate Daniels. She Good morning. Is. She is that. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll notice we've begun putting our email addresses up there. So if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, keep them clean. If you have any suggestions, uh, go ahead and, and send us a, shoot a no, an email off to yeah. us. Yeah. And if you're not happy about something, he's your guy. No, you want to call her. <laughs> no. She's over there. And, uh, yeah, no, don't, you know, my number is not, I don't even have a number. <laughs> my last number was six and seven eighths. That's the only number I ever had. <laughs> no, we would love to hear from you. Give sure us, you know, send us an email. Let us know um, if there's something that you want to hear covered on the, on the TV or some, mm -hmm. You know, suggestions, we want to hear from you. There you go. How are things over at the chamber? They're wide open. Wide open. Wide oh, open. Yeah. Wide open. But that's the way it should be. <laughs> if we exactly if we right. weren't busy, we wouldn't be doing uh, our members' service and, and the community service. It's easy to become a member of the chamber, isn't it? It's so easy. Yeah, it's so easy. It's very easy. You can go online for more information, but if you give us a call, we'll come to you, talk to you about, you know, what your business could um could benefit from being a part of the chamber mm -hmm. um, and would love the opportunity to discuss it with you. you and go. I'll say, if you want to know, you know, right off the bat, if you've got a smartphone, uh, which I think my phone's smarter than me most of the time, you can go <laughs> to the Apple Store and type in My Chamber app. It's very easy to do. If you are in Wayne County or even surrounding areas, it will locate the Wayne County Chamber as your nearest location, set it. It will become your default app for a Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. You will have at your fingertips all of the businesses of the Wayne County Chamber. Um, any businesses that offer, we call them hot deals, they're located on there, upcoming events. But the great thing is, say you're, you've got um, somebody in town and you want to know restaurants, you go to the restaurant tab, mm -hmm. it'll show all of the members of the chamber, um, a link to their website, direct phone call, like you literally click the button, it will call them. It will show if they're wow. offering a discount, wow. a military discount, or just in the, the community. Um, as a whole discount. It'll give you driving directions. If you are walking, you can get walking directions. Whoa. Um, so for any goods and services, um, please download it. And if you're taking your business, if you've gotten to meet somebody out of town or you're going to visit, say, somebody in Greenville, North Carolina, you can click at the top, select a different chamber, click the Pitt County Green, um, Greenville Pitt County Chamber, and you'll have access to their chamber members. So, that is so we're trying easy. to change how people think and yeah. do business. And um, the chamber, this is a service that is free to our community. It's free to our chamber members because we want to leverage their exposure um, for being supportive of the chamber in our community. That is pretty amazing. That is just absolutely amazing. It is, it is pretty neat. Yeah, it's it pretty really neat. Is. I talk a it lot really about is. we've become too dependent on social media. We're doing all this stuff online. We are um, as a society, being very susceptible to not being able to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. I think the next generation, certainly it needs to be something we need to be focused on, which the Wayne Education Network is working very hard on things with that, and I know our schools are as well. But if we're not doing things um, with technology, we are not going to be putting our businesses front and center. So I do talk a lot about come to events, that one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to remember what we talk about one-on-one, -on -one, whereas in an email, I might pick up the wrong tone, I might not get the clear message, mm -hmm. I might forget yeah. about it. Text, all that same stuff. One on one's the best way to do it, but the app yeah. puts it puts businesses in the palms of your fingers. Uh, that is just amazing. I absolutely agree that we we have to continue with the one on one. Yeah. Absolutely. That is so important. Uh, the connectivity between two individuals. Still, we're at the point now that we have crossed that line. Yeah. That we should never go back, or we don't have to go back to the old way of doing things as far as being able to contact and talk to people. It's so immediate. It's right now. It's boom, you're there. Yeah. yeah. Boom. We want, it's it's funny if you think it wasn't that long ago with dial-up internet. Mm -hmm. And you know, I used to be so, I'd get home from school and my mom would let me get on the computer and I'd, and you'd wait and wait, but it <laughs> never seemed, I mean, you know, you just, you heard that noise. Yeah. Dialing up and I never was impatient with it. Now, mm -hmm. If, you know, if I can't get something online right away, I mean, it's immediate how impatient we have become because we have become <laughs> such a side yes. of instant gratification. True. I want it right now. Yeah. Everything's accessible. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we, if you are with a certain carrier or experience, oh, it wasn't that, it was maybe four hours of, of service interruption. Um, and you would have thought 
that the world was coming to an end oh, because yeah. so many people were complaining, you know, they couldn't get through. And it's like, you know, it was a hiccup. It was a glitch. They fixed it. But it's, a, it's incredible how dependent we are on it. I used to log in and go make a sandwich before I could get online. Yeah. You know, yeah. it was just, but it's, it's changed so much. Yeah. There was a time, and I don't, you don't probably remember this, but there was a time when uh, file names could only be eight characters. Only eight. I mean, you could, Wayne County Chamber would never have. Really? You couldn't, you couldn't have a Wayne County Chamber. You, it could only be eight characters and no more. But then all of a sudden that all changed. In fact, it's changed just over the past few years. I watch old characters. TV. I like Me TV, This TV, Antenna TV, a lot of the, that shows the older programs. Uh -huh. And you see, you, it's really funny. You see dial phones. Yeah. You dial, and you see telephone booths. Yeah. What's a telephone booth? What? No relation to Shirley Booth, <laughs> but a telephone booth. You see dial phones, and and when they had a a cell phone, it was a it was a brick. A I mean, literally, it was big enormous. Cell phone. Yeah, with an antenna on it. Kind of looks funny now, but uh, well, when I I got my driver's license, which was in I don't know ninety eight, I guess. Um, I mean, I had a bag phone, mm -hmm. right? Yes. That stayed in the back of my car, and my parents put the fear in me that I do not use it unless it's an absolute emergency. Emergency, yeah. And now I know very young children that are given cell phones at Christmas time and I'm like, what? Yeah. yeah. It's wild. It's just yeah. wild. It's right. wild. Yeah, it's a blessing phone. and a curse, I think. Bag phone. We had a bag phone at the radio station. And yeah. It, it was really funny. Yeah. Don't use it unless it's an emergency. It had to be an emergency because they're very expensive to Woo! use. It cost a fortune to use them. But now they're about that big. They're about, yeah. Yeah, about that big. Immediate, immediate talking and con connecting with someone. That's right. Uh, today is the 8th, right? Yep. Chevy Chase is having a birthday today. Oh, I know who yeah. he is, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, 57, 67, 72 years today. Very nice. Sigourney Weaver uh -huh. is having a birthday. She was in the movie Aliens. That's not she, where I know her from. Why do I know that uh, name? You know, she's very tall. She's very pretty. Uh, Sigourney Weaver, she's 66 today. She when she her, she was born now, an odd name for a young lady Sigourney. It is. But her her she was born Susan. Susan Alexandra Weaver. Well, that makes sense to well, change it. Well, and her dad was a big deal in Hollywood. He was a big producer, oh. and they was there was a wealthy family. In 1963, however, she changed her name from Susan to Sigourney. Uh, after uh, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald's character Sigourney Howard in the in the book uh, The Great Gatsby. It was a character, Sigourney Howard. She liked that Aww. name, so she, she picked it up and named herself that. Uh, Stephanie Zimbalist, and she was a star of a TV show called Remington Steel. Okay. Who starred uh, an unknown uh, 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 fellow, a very handsome Brit, uh, who played 007 and who, anyway, did a lot of other stuff. And it just escapes me right now. But she's having a birthday. She's the daughter of Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. And I know you don't know who that is. No. He was a star of a TV show called FBI. Very talented actor, Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. And he had a famous father who was a concert uh, conductor. But I don't remember okay. his name. But I didn't know his last name. Well, it was, uh, his <laughs> Ephraim, it was Mr. Ephraim Zimbalist, Zimbalist Jr. Yeah. His father was famous. Wow. But I can't remember his name. I'm not even going to call me. Anyway, Karen Parsons <laughs> is having a birthday. If you remember Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yes. She was Hillary. She? Oh, okay. Very pretty girl. Uh, birthday today for Emily Proctor. Emily Proctor. You know Emily Proctor. I She's do. on the TV show CSI Miami. Oh, oh. Oh, do you? She's from yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, she's from Raleighwood. Is it Raleigh? Yeah, she's from Raleigh. She yeah. went to Ravenscroft Academy there. That's very. Yeah. I was gonna say Greenville, but no, she is from Raleigh. Well, she went to ECU. That's what it is. Yeah, I knew there was a tie to Greenville. How neat is that? She studied journalism and dance at ECU, and upon graduation, worked as a weather girl at the Greenville CBS affiliate that's, there. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, Channel Nine, I guess. Wow. Um, she then moved to LA. Her father paid for two years of acting lessons and she boom got a job just like that wow now most of the time it doesn't happen like that she's having a birthday today let's see 68 uh, it'll be uh, 32 42 47 years today wow 47 years jeremy davies will play daniel on the tv show lost he okay. was also ephraim on or is ephraim on texas rising which is a show i've never seen but i understand it's running now 
Dylan Neal was on Dawson's Creek. He's, uh, he's having a birthday today. And Angus T. Jones, if you remember the show Two and a Half Men, he was the little boy. <gasps> How old is he, he now? He is all grown up. How old? 22. No. Yeah. See, that puts things in perspective. 22. Doesn't it? Really? Though? Yeah. He's 22 years older than Tall, good looking kid. Guy. Wow. He, wow. Yeah, he's a, today he is a man. That was a very inappropriate show. Oh, well, yeah. The things that they got away with inferring on yes. that show, yes. it was, inc I mean, it really was incredible. And if you it took was all that how? trash out, it was a very funny show if you took all that out. It was a very smart show. Yeah. But there were, you know, there were things. I, I know I've talked to my dad a couple of times, and he, he thought it was a very smart show, but he's like, I can't believe they said that. I'm like, I know. Yeah, they said things they shouldn't have said. <laughs> yeah. That was... That was that but was he, the downside of that, that program. It, yeah, it it was. It had a long <coughs> run, but that that little boy. I mean, he was a little thing when they started. Well, they started, and of course, he had the smart mouth and all that. But uh, and I don't like that in a TV show because right. there's so many kids now that that mouth off at, at adults and such. But he was a funny little kid. He yeah he he was he was that was a that was an interesting show. Yeah, wow. he, uh, the innocence of him, of, of uh, Angus T in that character uh, was very. Uh, very good. Sorry. That was the only really appropriate part of the program. Yeah. But if they took all the trash out, it would have yeah. been a very sh funny show. They had great writers, but they had to mess it all up with that garbage. Uh -huh. Anyway, anyway. Unlike here. Oh, clean. yeah, unlike here. Absolutely. Yeah. Goodness. <laughs> okay. I guess we're, uh, yeah, we need to move How on to our next segment here. Well, we're not out of time. we just got to move on to our next segment. Yeah, but you're making me stop talking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Moving on. We'll be back. Yeah. Your source for what's happening in your community is Wayne Goldsboro Television. In the studio today with a couple of guests from the Arts Council of Wayne County. Tracy Williams is with us and Hi. Javon Holland is with us. Hello there, ladies. Hi. I appreciate you coming in. Thank, Thank you. you very much for being here. It's a pleasure. Very good. Tracy, yes. uh, first of all, what are, you, what are you bringing to the table today? Tell us about what's going on at the Arts Council. Uh, we have a packed schedule this quarter. This is our busiest quarter of the year. And we have, um, every month, we have four basic events that we do every month. They're free to the public. We mm -hmm. have... Uh, on the first Friday, mm -hmm. we open up artist studios. We usually have them opening. We have a, an exhibit that opens up. The um, on the second Tuesday, second Thursday, excuse me, the second mm -hmm. Thursday, we have open mic night. Mm -hmm. On the third Friday, we have jazz showcase, and on the fourth Friday, we have drum circle. Wow, yes. something every Friday. You have every, something going on all the time. Every week, we have uh, our base programs, and then of course um, we have a lot of classes. If you visit our website at www.artsandwayne.org, you can see a full lineup of classes that we have. And there's a ton of them. Yes. You offer something yes. for everyone, from we children do. to adults. Yes. Yes. To everybody else. That's right. We have some pottery classes for children, some painting classes. We have knitting, um, pottery painting. Um, we have lots of classes um, going on. We're doing a little bit of felting with the adults. A lot of fun felting. classes. Yes. <laughs> felting. Yes. Felting. That came from Norway, didn't it? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> what, is, what is felting? Yes. It, yeah. It, well, we've got some, we've got two different types of felting we, we do. We've got one where you actually create the felt from wool, and then we've also got another type of felting where we make things out of felt. Okay. It's already been um, mm. made into sheets. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll pretend to understand yeah. everything you just said. Okay. <laughs> the, no, I that's think the fiber nerds will understand. Yeah, the it. fiber nerds will. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Very good. Javon, you're lovely. Thank well, you. Tell us about Javon Holland. Um, so I'm actually visiting family right now. My family's mm -hmm. here in Goldsboro, but yeah. I live out in San Diego. Oh my, um, what, did you get lost and just <laughs> end <up? laughs> No, I'm just here on a bit of an extended vacation. And while I'm here, I linked up with the Arts Council. I heard they were doing some wonderful things in the way of bringing some creativity and innovation to Goldsboro. And so I wanted to get in and be a part of that. So I'm actually helping consult. Um, and I'm also the model coach for the upcoming runway show. Oh my goodness. That leads us into the question. Is that a question? Tell us about the model, modeling show, runway show. 
Will you please? That's a good. Absolutely. That's a question. So yes. On so what Saturday, is that? October twenty fourth. Yes. Um, the Arts Council will be hosting their second Art and Fashion Showcase. Right. Um, it'll be at the Terrace Room at six thirty. Doors will open at six thirty. And basically, what we'll have is a bunch of local designers, local boutiques. We're using local models. We'll have local performers. Um, we've reached out to the community, and we have some local sponsors who are going to be helping us as well. So we have Krispy Kreme, Bicycle World, oh boy. Chef Herbs uh, Bistro and Restaurant. We have a bunch of different sponsors who are signing on um, to put uh, things in our VIP bags and to uh, help us with food and hors d'oeuvres and wine for the event. So it'll be really, really great. And we also have, just so you don't think it's it's just going to be um, clothes that you get just out of a store. We'll also have a couture designer oh. as well who will be showing a piece. My goodness. You, there's a, so it sounds like you're covering all the bases here. It's something for everyone indeed. A lot of, should be a lot of interest in this. Uh, let me mention the terrace room. This is the terrace room at the Waynesboro House, right? Yes. The historic terrace room. That is a beautiful room. It's on the second floor of the Waynesboro House. And again, give us a date on this. The date is going to be Saturday, October 24th. The 24th. Okay. Tickets are $3 for general admission or $10 for VIP. I know. I know. $3? <laughs> yes. Yes. Couldn't you get any cheaper? Gee, <laughs> <laughs> we are best at the Arts Council you. to offer um, art um, to anyone in the community. We $3. try our very best. Yes. Gee whiz. I would think maybe 30 but three? three? Okay, that is fantastic. <laughs> so anybody can go to this. Absolutely. Anybody who has an interest in this. Yes. My goodness, that is wonderful. Three dollars mm -hmm. and ten for VIP. Yes. What does a VIP ticket get? And so a VIP ticket will get you front row seating at the at the show. So you'll be sitting right on the runway. You'll have a first eye view of everything that comes down the runway. Oh boy. And it'll also get you a VIP bag. And some of the sponsors that I mentioned earlier have ah. given us some little goodies to put in oh. those bags. Oh boy. <laughs> and uh, you mentioned Chef Herb and all these others. These are great. These are great sponsors. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations on this. So how long are you going to be with us here in Wayne County? I'll be here. I'm planning to be here until December. Okay. My mom is trying to, trying to lengthen that out a little I'm bit. I'm sure. <laughs> now, she understands it's this December, right? Yes. Not, yes. Okay. Not all right. Just checking. From now. All yes. right. Well, maybe she can talk you into it. <laughs> anyway, what do you do in San Diego? Um, I am a full-time student. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. Um, I help run a nonprofit. Well, thank you very much for your service. Pleasure and a privilege. Thank you. Um, and I also run a consulting company where I help with brand ambassadorship consulting for events. And I also throw self-confidence and emp empowerment workshops. And I'll actually be doing one of those here as well. How did I get the feeling that that's exactly what you do? I just, <laughs> I just had a feeling. Well, look, I appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much for being Pleasure. with us today. Thank you. Javon Holland and... Tracy Williams of the artsinwayne.org, the Arts Council of Wayne County. Wayne That's County right. Arts Council, Arts Council of Wayne County. One or the other. <laughs> Take your pick. Yes. Don't ask me how to spell it. That's all. Okay, <laughs> ladies, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television, in the heart of Goldsboro, in the heart of Wayne County. Sergeant Paige Leonard of Crime Stoppers is with us today, and we're here to find out uh, what the bad guys are doing. We need to catch some bad guys, get them off the street, and you're here to tell us about it. We do. What's going um, on? Unfortunately, we've had another homicide, and um, this one happened October 1st of mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. It was about 10:15 at night. The uh, police department, the Goldsboro Police Department, got calls of shots being fired. Uh, our subject with a gun, and. W in the 1900 block of South Slocum Street. Right. And uh, as they arrived on scene, they actually located somebody who had already been shot right there in, in that area. And that is Nyquan Carnegie. He's a 19 year old. And uh, unfortunately he was you know, deceased out there on the scene. 19 years old. 19, very young. Mm. And um, you know, this is 10, 15 at night and this is October 1st. There's a, uh, for people who are not familiar, there, there's a lot of activity in this side of town. Um, there was a lot of people outside. There's, you know, in, in both housing areas down there. And so we're hoping that somebody is going to come forward and take a look at the pictures that we've posted. We've actually posted pictures on the Goldsboro Police Department Facebook page. Right. So they can took a, take a look at these pictures of, these are some persons of interest in related to the case that we would like to talk to. And I've also brought the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, for you to see and for you to share with the public. So showing them now. We are definitely hoping that somebody's going to say, hey, 
you know, that looks like, even if they're not 100% sure, yeah. then we can rule that name out. Right. You know, we can rule them in or we can rule it out. We just want to talk to them in reference to this night. You know, people don't stop and think that oftentimes you, you, you need to identify somebody to eliminate them right. from suspicion. Right. To get them outside right. of that circle. And it happens often, a lot of times, you know, I, like I said, it's a busy area, yeah. so a lot of people in the area at this time, and we'll certainly we've got to work as hard to rule them out as we do in. All so, right. now, Sergeant, this is a uh, this is an area on South Slocum Street. That's right. It's 1900 block. Um, What's that it's, it's in between the Grand Day Point and Seymour House, uh, Seymour Homes Housing Subdivision. Mm -hmm. So it's right there in that vicinity. Okay, right there in that vicinity. So it was at uh, nighttime. Uh, when people were out milling about, and that That's was a right. Thursday evening, as that I recall. That was right. Thursday, and it was about 10, 15 at night. All right, so if you have any idea of any kind of thoughts about who this may be, uh, the uh, the best thing to do is to call Crime Stoppers, and that number showing at the bottom of your screen right now, 735-2255, or you can text, which mm -hmm. I understand is becoming quite popular. Today. Yeah, I really think that people, it's just one more wall that they can get behind, mm -hmm. you know, so that we can't figure out their identity, which is great. We want it that way. You don't want to know who they are. Right, we, we don't want to know who they are. It just so. muddies the water. <laughs> you know, this younger generation is, um, they're tech savvy, and so they can write a book very quickly. Yes, and, they can. Uh, that's great. We'll take text messages, too. All right. Very good. 919-222-4230 uh, is the text number and the phone number, 735-2255. Sergeant Page Lerner asking for your help to solve this crime. Thank you very right. much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. In the heart of Goldsboro, in the heart of Wayne County. And we're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Thank you for being with us. The show repeats at noon, then again at 5.30 p.m. If you can't see those segments here on Channel 10 or Channel 99, uh, you can go to YouTube. Our website is the link to your YouTube access. You go to WayneGov.com and you click on the YouTube link, which is in the lower right-hand corner of the page. Or you can go to GoldsboroNC.gov and click on the YouTube link on that page. And it takes you right to the Wayne Goldsboro Television channel, easy YouTube crazy. channel. Very nice. It is very easy. And from that, you can look at any show that we've ever recorded. Uh, you can look at the uh, Board of Commissioners meetings. You can look at uh, just a whole bunch of stuff. That's great. A whole bunch of stuff. And uh, on the uh, city site, the, Wayne Go uh, the uh, GoldsboroNC.gov, that site contains the, the city council meetings and such. Very good. A lot of information. Lots of information. Lot of information. Do we or do we know? Uh, see, Daisy the Eighth. What's going on at the fair? There, I'm. We're so fortunate to have this fair. It I has know. been a great ride. It no is. pun intended. Um, today, the goats <laughs> gates. The goats. The goats. Are, uh, the some gates. are old and some are not. <laughs> we're talking old goats here. The gates. Gates, the gates, the open gates at open. 4 p.m. And the goats open at And the 4 goats will be there. The goats will be there at 4 p.m. Greeting you. Greeting uh, you. There, there's a lot of talent com competitions going on. <laughs> the vocational competition, they've been going on for the past week. Uh, today is masonry. Oh, okay. Which is an art form that there are all, that is that is job security right there. It if is. that is a field that um, you or somebody you know or someone in your family or a mm -hmm. grandchild or somebody, mm -hmm. um, that there is a skill to that. And it is a dying art. It is indeed. Um, and so that's, that's, that'll be a great one. That'll be at 530 tonight. There's yeah. an open pony and mule show. An open pony and yes. mule. And mule show. Mule show. Almost Amazing Rex and Dana Ryan there are back go. again. This is going to be well, a great. Well, they're very popular. Yeah. They're very good. Mike Bishop, the, the hypnotist, Hypno will be back. Hypnotically. He hypnotically. Will be, yes, he'll be here there. Hypnotically. Talent show, horse show. There is a lot going on. So if you've not had a chance to go out to the fair, please do so. Mm -hmm. um, and kudos to the to the um, to those that have orchestrated this fair. It's the 67th year. If you've not seen this publication, um, you need to. It is 80 yes. pages yes. of all the great things going on at the fair. Edith Blanton. You got Diane. You got Sandra Head. You got the, the entire staff. Not to mention Eddie Pitzer out there who just leading does, the way, mm -hmm, just, leading the way, not just for our yeah. county, but we've said this multiple times, yeah. but across the state. Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, 
It is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing. It is an extremely clean fair. I remember a couple of years ago when they, uh, Milton Ingram had, had paid, paved the paths out there. It is clean. There are hand washing stations that are in place. That, uh, 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 that, that That's one of their biggest concerns is right. the safety of the people that come to the fair. So be assured and rest assured that uh, if when you go to this Wayne County, Wayne Regional Agricultural Fair, that it is safe and it is clean. There's good security, there's good hand washing yep. facilities uh, all over the place, there's good restrooms, they're clean. Uh, there's uh, the, uh, the part of the, of the path, in fact, all of the paths are paved. You don't get off of the path, in fact. Yeah. Uh, and it's just a fantastic opportunity for you just to go and have a good old time. And let me mention one more thing. A lot of people still are under the impression that the county, this is a county facility, a county effort, and this is not a Wayne County facility and it's not a Wayne County Fair. The Wayne Regional, Regional. Agricultural Fair is owned and operated by the Wayne County Livestock Association, and those folks are responsible for the success of our fair. They and Eddie Pitzer and that entire organization, the uh, Wayne uh, County Livestock Development Association, is just an amazing group of people. They're fantastic, and uh, my hat's off to them for keeping this thing, making it as great as it is and has been for the last 67 years. Amen to that, and yeah. each year it gets better and better. Yeah. So it is, it's a huge operation, um, and I'm thankful that they're leading the way for it, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, good stuff. Yes. Uh, coming up in November, the uh, North Carolina Symphony's annual holiday will be taking place at the Paramount. That's the the 34th year they have done this. I cannot believe that. Really? They've been doing it. It says 34th year, annual. 34th annual. No, 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 no. Do I need Concert. to read that? The 34th annual. See, the letters are real small and my eyes are old. <laughs> and the lighting in here is the lighting. awful. Oh, it's horrible. Who, <laughs> who said that? Where are you? Okay. Anyway, the 34th annual. That's one of my favorite things. I know. It's... Uh, these are a few of our, mm -hmm. uh, the 24th of uh, November is when that will be taking place at the Paramount. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, what else do we have? We've got, well, I'm going to do another plug. Go online and vote for your favorite star yeah. for Dancing Stars. It's coming up on October 16th. If you've not gotten your tickets for the Friday night show, please do so. Come out, um, see these stars live. They are uh, leaders in your community. Um, you're going to know many of them. You can go online and see a full list of it. Uh, you can go to the Facebook page or on the Chamber's website. But place your votes. They're $10 a vote. Um, buy your tickets to come out that night. It is for education in Wayne County. And, uh, and we've partnered with five area dance studios. So it's really neat how it's come full circle. We've yeah. got our stars who are the center of these dances raising the money, but they're surrounded with um, local students in Wayne County schools, be it public and private. So it's really come full circle that we can do a fundraiser that highlights these incredible students. And there's a lot of talent in Wayne County. I, there's, you know, I've heard somebody say one time, they're like, what are these children drinking? What is in the water? <laughs> I think mean, that's pretty good. What's in okay. the water? All so right. a lot of talent. Dance magic. Yes. That's magic. What, uh, where is this going to be? At the Paramount Theater. Okay. The Paramount Theater in downtown Goldsboro. And, um, and so we're, we're real excited about a great event. But we need you there. We want you in the seat. All right. And don't forget to vote. Yes. All right. That's going to wrap it for today. We'll do it again tomorrow. Tomorrow being the end of the week. It is Friday coming up on it. This is Friday Eve, by the way, if you're keeping up with that sort of thing. So let's, let's try this again tomorrow. Maybe I'll get it right then. So. For Wayne Goldsboro Television. Until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kate Daniels. That was dramatic. Wasn't it though? That was dramatic. <laughs> that was my Captain Kirk. <laughs>